mm, don't like that. Yeah, right. Oh, well, not James Franco. Not, not James house. Franco. No, right. Seth Rogen. Yeah, Seth Rogen yeah. can come over anytime yeah. and beat yeah. me with a vibe. Yeah. I'll yeah. say it. I'll say it on the yeah. air. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Also, I just have to say this did start because we were talking about if we called our podcast Pineapple Express. Right. Yes, that was the lead. In. And <laughs> because we're the train, train conductors. I'm Marina Ezra, and I'm Brendan O'Brien on sessions with Mary Jane, and we're going to take our guest here. Sharia Mattis, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Fun, uh, yes. We're gonna take you on a fun train ride. Yeah, <laughs> you're a good high conductor. Usually, I wouldn't want my train conductor to be high as well. <laughs> but I practice, like, yeah. practice, I feel so like, practice. I That's feel like you're on it. You're on it. There is some, there is some sessions Mary Jane episodes you could listen to, and we probably <laughs> are. Yeah, you know, we're all over the place. And we we're kind of talking about this before, but like one of the good things about this podcast is that it's like, like real life. It's like everyone has a different kind of experience when they're high, mm-hmm. and that's the goal. The yeah. goal yeah, is to true. have that experience. So, yeah, you know. we have a lot of different experiences with people. Yeah, that's true. Not, not anyone is the same. Yeah, no, yeah. But thank you for coming out here. You came out here from Brooklyn today. Yeah, I came from Bushwick. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, 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 yep. yeah. Uh, how was the commute out here? It was good. It was as good a com- as a commute in in America could, or is in this especially like a New York MTA in the NJ Transit. Yeah, as best as that could be. Okay. <laughs> that is a ring which is, which is not particularly good, but is as is the best it could be. Yeah. Y'all live right around. Yes. I'm not gonna say where you live. You know. Yeah. I think people know. Yeah, we're what? Jersey. We're have Jersey. We, have we said the town. Uh, I don't know if we said that. I don't know. Don't be telling anybody your business. What yeah. are y'all doing? Yeah, guys. <laughs> I'm not saying it right now. Yeah. Y'all really trying to get Seth Rogen and y'all will just get a bunch of women. You know what? We, 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 we <laughs> it's won't not be mad Seth about Rogen, it. Rogen, y'all. We're not going to be mad if he shows that. But they have to narrow down where in that town. That's right, yes. Yeah. So, we're... But right, anyways, go ahead. <laughs> There's some dude that's like triangulating your like has hardcore fan of the show. Oh, he's right still now. like tracking her. He's like tracking. Yeah. He's like, yeah. ah, he's like you have a location. Of where? I'm coming to take these people. That's probably just Y'all got two nights of a TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they want, you know what? I'm surprised y'all let my black dance in here. We okay. First of all, we know you're joking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, oh my god, you just accuse us of being racist. <laughs> what the fuck? No, she accuses us of being nervous. <laughs> this is how this is starting. Here yeah. we go. Yeah, honestly. No, we would not know you. As soon as you walked through that door, like mm-hmm. you were, you are so full of life. Yeah. Oh my like, god. Love yeah. it. No, love it. You are such good energy. Yes. Yeah. Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. I I do it too often. Yeah. Oh my God, y'all too. This is really no. Well, it's a it's a treat. Before we do start, really, really start getting into no, we started. Um, but Brendan, would you like to give our guest the challenge? Yes. So your challenge, uh, which you can uh, answer these any point during the entire podcast, is to name items on this list. The list is to name queer comedians or comedians that are in the LGBTQ plus yeah okay uh you can interrupt the conversation at any time literally when you think of one just shout out we'll put it on the board and you just collect as many as you can between now and the end of the podcast okay all right so it's just like whenever I want like just talk yeah there you go I got one okay uh, Alex Kim uh um Alicia Brown all right um let's see James Tyson Gus Constantelis uh Brandon, why did you think of this challenge? Yeah, this was too easy. Uh, well, because you 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 run a show that is like person of color. And yes, so yeah, we're right a right? show. Well, yeah. yeah, I will be running it again after my hysterectomy, and then it'll be coming back. Like, cool, boom, you know. Can you tell us the show a little bit, like how you got started with it? Oh God, it's a story. Yeah, it's well, that's kind of a bummer well, story. Oh, a bummer. Not story. a bummer. You know what I mean? But it's not the. It's not as the. I mean, like, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, like, yeah. whatever I started, I would, me and this girl, we were, like, we, I met her, she had just moved to New York, um, and, and, like, I, you know, I was just starting comedy, and, I, you know, going to lots of comedy shows, <clears throat> and I was just, like, you know, you know, sometimes you go to the, do a comedy show, mm-hmm. and you're, like, having such a good time, and it's, like, all, but it's still, like, all, white men and yes. one white woman mm. and they're like diversity mm. 
<laughs> or they'll have, and you know, and that's also like a category, whatever. Yeah, yeah, So I was, yeah. and it started to get to me a bit. It started to get to me a bit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I want a, com like, what do I want for com from comedy is a show where I can show up, see a bunch of cool ass comics that I feel like I connect with and who also aren't gonna bum me out by being like mm. racist and homophobic yeah. or transphobic mm -hmm. or anything like that at any yes. time. Yes. Like I don't wanna, you know, you pay yes. so much fucking money yes. to go to these shows and you're having a good time and then, and then you know, a comic says the F word that's not supposed to be saying that shit yeah. and you're like, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> and now you're bummed you spent fucking 50 bucks to be bummed you know what I mean yeah. and uncomfortable right yeah. so I was like alright I'm gonna make that show like and at the time you know of course That's there are funny. shows that are like yeah. that of course yeah. but at the time I was like there's not enough so yes. I made you yes. know and, and then also I wanted to make fun of that concept so loud bitch comedy is also like um, it's we we nominate um, <laughs> we nominate a white guy whites is Het man for one for every show and he's the diversity comic <laughs> <laughs> and he does his set and then I roast him uh, and so and that's fun because it's like you know like white men oh, it's that's how you feel at these shows right yeah. how many times have you know I showed up to a show I did the spot and then somebody kind of says something that's like Ooh, yeah, you know yeah, and I'm yeah. uncomfortable about the old yeah. one there now white man so it was since had white man probably so he walks into the comedy show he expects to see a bunch of other white men and yeah. the guy and he does it you know what I mean yeah. he's gotta he's yeah. gotta you know what I mean but also I give that spot to the white guy who's cool like it's sort of like a reward for being like fucking cool yeah like I you love know what that. I'm saying I like that. I trust yeah. you white man to show up at my show and not say no shit that's gonna bum everybody the it's fuck out idea. you yeah. know what yeah. I mean and as a reward you get up on stage on my show so yeah. it's like ah. <laughs> <laughs> the queer agenda yeah. but <laughs> no I like concept yeah i love this concept and i've dead ass been like and like white men white male comics they don't know because like mm -hmm. i'll show up to shows and be like mm, you see i'll just cross you off of my yeah. list uh -huh. for that joke <laughs> like, yeah it's my own way of taking yeah. back power <laughs> yeah because <Well, laughs> it's we're tired of it also it's just not fucking funny yeah, yeah <laughs> it's not content, funny it's not at least if it, there's there's you know a line where stuff's in good taste mm -hmm. and stuff's just For just sure. just like you don't need to be saying that yes. like also yes. you don't need to be when it comes to like offensive inappropriate shit and like yeah it's just and how I'm people not saying no little shit like I mean like the yeah, like people, deep, people yeah. say wild yes. ass yeah. shit yeah. people, people just do hate speech and then there's no joke yes. Oh, yes. And, yes. And, and that's like the weird thing it's like because go, go back to like the comedy part of it it's like the goal of comedy is to make people happy right to make them laugh and it's like when did that become like a, a time to like get on your high horse about really weird toxic opinions of things thank like, you because you know? it was morphed into just being a selfish need yeah. I don't know a comedian yeah it definitely has it's like you do it for selfish reasons but like you're also giving, you're also like you're it's an energy. A yeah. and an energy. It's an energy, and a you feel like they say, you know, feel the room, like fucking feel stuff. the room. You should know yes. when. No, your you audience. And guess what? Your audience yes. is changing. Yes. We are growing yes. as a people. Yes. We are understanding more. We yes. are as a queer community. We are reaching out, and as as you know, and, and black women too. Like you know, black women in comedy get you know. Yeah, we yeah. you know we coming up, you know what I mean. Yeah. And as a result, you're gonna either have to grow or fuck you. You can't be on shows mm -hmm. now. Obviously, that's not the T. But if I could, if I were in charge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. overlord of comedy, make it happen. That's right. Yeah. So when, when I'm president of comedy. <laughs> So funny. You know what? Well, we have precedents for lots of things, so we might as well have a precedent of comedy. Right? I absolutely did not want to be the fucking president. Of the goddamn thing. <laughs> Why would that? What a serious be job. Of comedy. <laughs> president of the ghettoest of the ghettos. That's absolutely not. No, thank you. But 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 but, but if you had to elect a a president of comedy, president of comedy, who would it be? Mm -hmm. I was going to specify it had to be 
uh, stand-up comedians, but that's not true. Oh, that's not true? It's, whoever, because it's, are we saying comedy in general or specifically stand-up comedy? Uh, like, there's many now different... you're president of comedy. Oh my God, that's not... The, uh, well, I don't want nobody like, to be president of comedy. Not... I don't want that office to exist. <laughs> <laughs> because even if we elect, uh, uh, no. real, like, we elect Issa Rae and everything is good, <laughs> the next year, yeah. these white men will storm the comedy capital. <laughs> And we will get fucking, I don't know, fucking, who's the scariest rapist? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Louis C.K. will be president oh. of comedy. Although I loved Louis. Well, I, I used to love Louis. That, yeah. was, that, that was quite a turn. Huh? Oh, God. Oh, you, that's kind of how I got into comedy a little mm. bit. I was like, because mm. I worshipped, I worshipped. I was like a big comedy nerd. Mm. But like, <laughs> I never actually get on a stage. I had such bad anxiety mm. in general. Like, I wouldn't leave my house so I wasn't able to go on stage. <laughs> so like, you know what I mean? Like, and, but I was obsessed with comedy and I love Louis C.K. Like, mm. I love Mark Maron still and everything but Louis uh, C.K. Yeah, was yeah. Mark Maron. Like, that's, yeah. we, me and my homegirl, yeah. we used to stalk Mark Maron. Like, she used yeah. to, that actually she used to email with him and he would, he would answer back and oh. they, they had this like weird bitchy like, uh, teen girl <laughs> relationship. <laughs> Like she'd be snarky about him and he'd be snarky about her. And I'm like, are you best friend? That's kinda cute. That's kinda cute. Wow. That's kinda cute. Yes. Wow. I, mean, I love you more. That's amazing. Oh, I God. feel like I want him to be my, you know, like Uncle Jew. Like yeah. my, un- my Uncle Jew. Uncle, Jew. My Jew uncle. <laughs> I just said that. My Jew uncle. Well, Mark Barron, we have that yes. is Uncle Jew. <laughs> uncle Jew is gonna be such a good animated series. Yeah. Mark yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, good. Damn. So who else? Um, who else did you admire that much? Oh, well, not admire is not the right word. Who else did you, who were you in love with their comedy that besides? I mean, admire is, is totally the word. Like oh, I, because I didn't. Separate, I didn't want to put anything in your. I didn't know for sure, but I didn't separate the the man from the. I was mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. so Lucy K was like my number one. I loved well, you can't really separate. I loved Dave. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but there were always clues there with Dave Chappelle. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I loved Dave Chappelle. I knew he was gonna break my heart someday. But mm. he's still, you know, he's still, still, you know, still a f- great comedian yeah. using his talents f- for nonsense. Yeah, that is it. That's exactly it. It's like, it's like you have the power, the ability to do great things, and you choose yeah. this. You're a black man yeah. in America at the a, time. Such a and such, a, a such an important socio political time for black people in America. And this is what you choose to yeah. use your very large platform to consistently talk about is to yeah. be mean to trans people. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't understand. Well, do you do you feel like it's he's just old fashioned? Like he's just, yeah, he's, just he's a guy from his time. Boom. He's a culture, he's a product of yes, his time. Yes, we're, great. We're different. We're from a different time. Not like For I'm sure. saying that's an For excuse. For sure, he is a middle aged straight. His <laughs> black. Man, what do you expect? Better. I expect better yeah. because yeah. he, he, okay, like the average middle aged black man, mm-hmm. like Dave Chappelle, who holds his same opinions, is also not, he's fucking living paycheck to paycheck. He works his mm-hmm. back off for some big fucking corporation that does not give a fuck about him and he lives in the like America America where nobody respects him except for black women and the only thing he can get only thing the only thing he sees as far as like what he could be is a white man he sees the way white men treat gay people, the mm. way white men ah, treat women, geez. and the way white men yeah. rule the world and destroy the earth. And they say, that's what a man is. That's mm. what equality is. Mm. I need to be just like him in order to be equal to him. Mm. Yeah. And that's my way out of oppression. And that's that's and so they pick a target and they go for that. And that's how you survive the unsurvivable, mm-hmm. right? For a lot of men. Not an excuse, mm-hmm. but it is. Dave Chappelle is a man with, as a millionaire, <laughs> with so much power. Yeah. He, why is he, who are you complaining about? What is, what is, what's the real thesis? Who's holding you back? Mm-hmm. Nobody's holding you back from anything. Mm-hmm. You're nobody's, you are, you are, you are doing really well. You, you could use your voice to help those of us who don't, 
and we'll never have that kind of platform mm -hmm. and that kind of ability to craft words into something that right. like penetrates the heart and the mind. Mm -hmm. You have that ability and you use it for nonsense. It's like if Jesus was just like running around like, you know, like pulling pranks on people. <laughs> you know, that was his, you know, he'd part a oh river at, a fu at fucking SeaWorld just to fuck with someone. Like, no, come on, like do your fucking do, do, like why are you, what is going on? What is going on that is making you mad at queer black people. And I think also, there's also not queer black people, queer people and the erasure of, of queer black people. And now you're getting, you're getting to inform the, 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 the fucking conversation about, about black, for black queer people, yeah. the most fucking like yeah. the lowest of the love. You think we don't also deal with race and shit? Yeah. And I'm speaking as a cis, gender queer woman yeah. who can I shit like I'm you know it's not so you know I'm not a I'm not a trans black black trans woman uh poor mm -hmm. out in these streets just trying to like like survive paycheck mm -hmm. to paycheck when she's being like denied jobs just yeah. for being trans you know what I mean yeah. like that's the, your ability to take care of yourself is completely compromised in because of talk like that yeah. because of shit that so what so you're using your and I feel like Dave Chappelle just wants to be just like the white man who does mm -hmm. the same that he used to complain about. He used to be the one that used to do the commentary about the oppressors. And now you're just like reiterating your, your oppressor status. The proof is also in the fact that like like a lot of white men also did get really like like for Dave Chappelle when all this stuff happened too. Yeah. So like that's like an indicator yeah. is like there was like a lot of guys who were just like Cause like again, like they they take this like freedom of speech thing and they like use it to morph into whatever they want it to be, you know. Yeah. Like freedom of speech. Yeah, but yeah, but some of that with with Chappelle, it's like it's so it's just like extra frustrating when there's someone who's like so on the pulse about one or like multiple things, and you're like, yo, they just get it, they just like totally get this thing, but then they're so off about one or multiple other things too. You know? Yes, because the things that he's on the pulse about, and he's not even on the pulse of that because let's not to you know not to shoot on a man, but less special and he the, the last special where he dedicated it to, to during the black lives matter to the victims of uh you know police uh the murder victims of police you know he say shit about brianna taylor <laughs> so like it seems that he's kind of focused on you know cis hat black man issues that are like and yeah he's right about those things yeah because he's lived those experiences as a cis hat black man but he is missing some information. Yeah. He's missing some information or choosing not to participate in that yeah. information. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what it is. It's just what it is. And it is that for so many. A cigarette, like this yeah. trans woman. <laughs> like, yeah, the smoking the cigarette thing. Yeah. Oh my God, you're not even trying. Sometimes you can get too big. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. Because those are the, like, we're yeah. watching those earlier specials. That's Dave trying to be the greatest. Yeah. And watching these specials is Dave being like, I'm the greatest. Mm. I don't need to really fucking give whiffs, you know, I'm just gonna complain. Yeah. yeah I can say whatever yeah. I want and I'm gonna say this. And it's like, oh God. That's Sometimes. when it is kind of like a, like a downer where you're just like, uh, like you should still be trying. Like otherwise then retire. Like people yeah. still do their jobs. This is your job. Like you, I'm sorry, but this is the thing that makes you money. Everybody is still trying at work and they're regular to do oh, their man. jobs. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Not everybody. Yeah. That's that is true. That's true. He's not the CEO of comedy. He, That's like, true. Elon Musk there. doesn't work. You know what I mean? I don't He's, know. I don't know what he does. Okay, I don't. He tweets. Said David. <laughs> David Elon. <laughs> Dave is the Elon Musk of comedy. And he says that he well, what about Jeff Bezos? Bezos? He's also. Does he do anything? No, Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos does nothing. Just besides like riding his own rocket. Yes. Yeah, no, he does nothing. He does nothing. I want to see him do stand up though. Like, I want. I want to see him try. Oh, Jeff no, Bezos. Bezos. Don't, don't you goddamn. <laughs> Don't you goddamn dare. How wait, dare you? Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait
<laughs> you're, wait, wait, listen. You're telling me that if you were at an open mic and you were like, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to head out, and all of a sudden you're getting ready to walk out, and they're like, all right, ladies and gentlemen, come to the mic. It's now Jeff Bezos. You wouldn't want to see what Jeff Bezos wanted, like, was trying to do in comedy? I'm no, I too be progressive. Curious. I would get a blow dart. And, you know, just take it in. <laughs> I'd take it out and start the revolution. That's what I would do. That's how I'm not the person to ask. <laughs> I'm not the person to ask. Yeah, yeah, we have. Honestly, right? I think, we want them. I think I would let him get one joke in. <laughs> <laughs> then I take him down. Then those would be his last like, words. Oh, thank you, God! I really want to see the rest of that. Those would be his last, last words. words. His last oh words. Oh my God! Yes. He would be on in an open mic at some fucking Yo, yes. Oh God, yes! That's how the revolution yeah. begins. That's so funny. That's so funny. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. That's how you get up all, all the billionaires. You just lure them to open mics. I met Jeff Bezos. Really? What? Jeff Bezos came to my restaurant once. I Whoa. used to work I was, and, his, and he gave me two security guards and I easily disarmed his security guards with the charm. <laughs> <laughs> his security guard loved me. Me and his security guard were chit-chatting and I was just the whole time and Bezos was over there the whole time. I was like, if I had a blow dart, I could just... Oh my God. God. <laughs> Wait, what did Jeff Bezos order for lunch? Oh my God. And he did. Okay, it was him and his new girlfriend not oh, the okay. not the new new one the one the one that leah was talking to no no not that one the one that um that oh my no no, no the one that um um isn't that not his most recent one yeah no, no that's his no not his most not the most recent one the one that he cheated on his wife with. Remember? Uh, oh. Remember? I actually don't know if they're the same person. But the one that he cheated on his wife with, this was at the time where he had cheated yeah, on his wife. Uh, and that it was her. And it was like this big thing over it. That's how they, they got, that's like how the divorce started is they mm-hmm. that affair, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, because so, his texts were leaked. Yes, I, she, 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 everybody was saying that she leaked the text. Well, but I was watching this crazy, like, it's not a conspiracy theory, but documentary thing where, like, it was a documentary where it went down where, like, he, Jeff Bezos, is having, um, like, uh, business deals or whatever with people who were ahead of Saudi Arabia, and then some people... Oh, they think the released, Saudi Arabia... released texts of his to, like, blow up and destroy his thing because then the deal fell through because he was doing... I'm like, Thank shit, God that, that shit fell through. Oh, <laughs> my God. Can you imagine what evil was going on? Yeah. No. I, I, I don't know. want to... I don't know if it's, like... The, I mean, still bad shit happened, but it's... I'm going to have to find that documentary. I but just anyway. don't want Saudi Arabia and uh, yeah. Bezos teaming up for anything. <laughs> it was uh, Lauren Sanchez. Yes. So her, do you have a picture? The newscaster. Yes. Yes, she was a newscaster. I don't really, I didn't know, I didn't know anything yeah. about, let me see. Yes, her. Yeah. So she came, God. she came and with him and they ordered the lunch special, like the basic special, which is like a cocktail and a, and a, um, like like a like a pizza uh-huh. and like and and so you get like really cheap drinks or whatever mm-hmm. and it, so they, they ordered the and another comic who was also was the server at my restaurant with me Mo Singleton you know him <laughs> anyway he's uh <laughs> so he so he was he served them okay uh-huh. no shade to Mo but he was not the best. <laughs> no, no. Neither am I. Neither am I by any measure. But like he for sure was just like came up to Bezos and was like, "What you want?" <laughs> and I said, "Thank God," because that he probably has never been treated. Yeah, like that, that is before. great. Though, yeah, and I watched them yeah. and I'm like, "Okay, come on," because we split the tips, right? Yeah. We split this is like Bezos, Yo, the richest motherfucker in the world, is in here. We finna go home with racks. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a dumb bitch because. What did you- she paid and tipped twenty percent exactly. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? On this like cheap ass lunch thing, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, and when he handed it over, if I watched Mo hand the check over, <laughs> and I see her put her hand up, and I'm like, Mo, if you, I said, if that were me, I would have been like. demeanor they seemed to find each other I, I, I got the it felt like almost like 
And also, I spent most of the time talking to his uh, security guard. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, you had this. <laughs> You had this memory with the security guard. The security guard was kid chit chatting. He was like laughing. He was like, oh my God, Gray is so funny. I was like, I had, and I, I'm right a step away from starting the revolution. I can do it. I can totally do it. I can totally do it. But then Mo fucked everything up. He was, and, and I, that, that's the thing Mo, Mo got him into. I was like, Mo, you know who that is? Like, he sat them in the back, and I'm like, you know who that is? And I even said to my manager, I was like, come on, you really gonna get this? <laughs> I said, Mo, I said, come on. <laughs> it was great. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, oh he's my not God. an attractive man. He looks wet. No, he's really, yeah. He looks wet all the time. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, he looks like slick, wet, like a, like a toad. Wait, really? <laughs> really, Yo, really? That checks out. Like, that ass, like, he's just. <laughs> he's, like, he's a reptile, like, man. Really? No, for yeah, I see why people say that they're reptiles. I'm like, he looked like he dipped his head in a bucket of Crisco. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, he looks gross. Yeah, it's crazy. You watch oh. movies and there's like like ridiculous, crazy, like super villains on there. And like, you're, you look at our world and you're like, it's kind of the same. That's Lex <laughs> Luthor. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all, but uh, still, Lex Luthor was finer than Bezos. Lex like, Luthor was yeah, kind of like that. He had swag. Lex Luthor had charisma. He had something. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Bezos is. Like, that ass was like, that ass was like I wish that. you guys could see the face. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it was just, so yeah. funny. It was whatever you're thinking. It was. It is exactly. Yes. What it was. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. The, I forget that they can't see me. <laughs> so let's go back. Um, did we find out where you where you where, you, where did you grow up? Ben Stuy, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Ben Stuy. So um, yeah. How what how was that growing up and. When the time came where you wanted to do something with comedy, can you tell me? Oh, pfft. from there um, to there, I want to know. Oh God, growing how I was growing up, oh, oh, rough. No, mm. but like rough, but not like you know what I mean. Like I, you know, I look. I'm just, oh God. I'm too high for for like to get into it. <laughs> but it was, it was what it was. It was. Rough. Okay, but you know, both of my parents, you know, but you know, like it's a but whatever. So, but I grew up. I kind of had a, a weird, interesting. Uh, like childhood experiences, you know, like I'm from Bed Stuy. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom's like j- from Jamaica. My parents, my people are from Jamaica. And, Have um, you been to Jamaica? Last time I was there, I was like 14, 13. So, like, it's been a while. Wow. It's been a while. Have you been craving to go back? I because re- I hated Jamaica as a kid uh, because I didn't get it. You know what uh, I mean? I didn't get it. It was yeah. like they don't have air conditioning and they yeah. don't have cable. <laughs> Yeah, kid, you yeah, know? Yeah. I didn't get it. My people are poor, and so I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't really see the magic. I had eczema. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I had to get eczema. I, yeah. I, I so I had eczema Huge and experience. big mosquito bites. Cause you see, you know I'm Jamaican mosquitoes. They're fucking. They look like Pokemon monsters. Yeah. They fucking come. Uh, wah, wah. <laughs> they come <laughs> suck the fuck out of your blood. Like they don't care. I've never been, but oh, you yeah, never been Jamaica. Been, yeah. No, no, but like. Just I've seen videos. Wait, how big are these bugs? They're big. Online. They just walk. They just walk. Like right Australia. Up like Australia has like huge insects. Not as bad as Australia. I don't think. Okay. Not, I mean, Australia yeah, is like a whole different situation. It's like, creepy over there. And so, but, <laughs> but, mm, like, I've never been there either. But this is uh, definitely what I know from Australian friends. You gotta look up like the largest insects Ugh. in the world, and then just, Ugh. and then just not. And the them. most oh. poisonous motherfuckers, like really poisonous. Man. Yeah, but like you know. Like, Kid. I was a city kid and I didn't really get the, the, the thing and then like I went to Asia I went to Thailand and I went to I was on this beach in the jungle and at first at first I was like because I would not have gone if I had known where I was signing up for I would not have gone because it was like no electricity mm-hmm. no like no flush toilets no no hot water shower wait, wait my, what made you want to go to Thailand oh I went crazy I lost my mind I'm, so I have like I have multiple mental illnesses <laughs> I have depression, I have PTSD, I have generalized anxiety disorder, I have a bunch of shit. I was suicidal. I was like, and I've had, I've had, I've been hospitalized many times, especially teen years when it first came, when I first started to get depressed. Mm. Like, I couldn't handle it at all. 
I was absolutely mm. so you know it was like every other week I was like crafting my suicide note that was like oh this is my favorite part of the day <laughs> like, you know what I mean and like and, you know be, I was you know hospitalized and those hospital experiences were very even more traumatic a lot of the time mm. but they kept me from killing myself you know what I mean mm-hmm. it's extremely common because of the way we live when I went mm. to Asia I, I was off uh, it took a few years so I was there for like four and a half years so like when I was in the Bay, I was on this beautiful, this beautiful, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> island. You know what I mean? I was living my best life. And yeah. when I tell you, I was uh-huh. off my meds for three months oh, with sh- no depression symptoms mm. because Damn. my life yeah. was not this at yeah. all. My life was waking up on in a jungle on the beach, barefoot, going swimming, eating coconuts and fresh vegetables and fruit. And going to yoga and doing meditation and and connecting with people. That was my life. Yeah. That was my life. Yeah. And that is the life that we should all be living. Yeah. Now it was extremely expensive. <laughs> but it should be. Right. It didn't need to be. It did it shouldn't, it shouldn't be. That's the way that we are all supposed to live. We're supposed to pick some fucking fruit off the tree, mm-hmm. eat it. Like we weren't meant for the way that made me realize like we were because I when I tell you a bitch. Her skin, everything, <laughs> body. You know what I mean? I, I feel like my fibroids weren't as bad. Oh, really, yeah. Like I really feel because my stomach got so so flat. Mm. Like you know, like oh, yeah. Girl, mm. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Well, it yeah. Was I mean, it's, yeah. it was amazing. It, like we're so we're also a lot of people are stressed out now. A lot of people are overstimulated. Yeah, a life lot of is trash. Are, like, yeah, it. Yeah. We should make it. Was I wish life went back to. When it was like simpler and you can, like you can, you have to, people have to try though. Like people have to, you know, r- literally reevaluate their lives. Most people don't have the opportunity to do what I did. I am so unbelievably blessed. You know what I mean? I worked mm-hmm. at an yeah. investment bank. I'm doing administrative work. Oh God, I was so suicidal. I was so suicidal. And so like, just <laughs> my manager hated me. I was not supposed to be doing that job. <laughs> 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 I was like, editing loan proposals and stuff and I did that go in the bathroom eat a salad and just sob on the toilet for my lunch break and like or just or my favorite thing which is wail in the streets on like Madison Avenue or Lexington Avenue just like "Ah!" (laughs) just in the streets like literally that was my favorite thing to do (laughs) how long were you in that job less than a year (laughs) I was doing administrative work before that but that was like the only yeah. job because I had such a hard time like like keeping jobs mm-hmm. because or not like because I was I would just get so depressed like I wasn't on finding the the medication I have treatment resistant depression so finding the medic mm-hmm. like I'd be doing well 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 uh-huh. and then I couldn't leave my house mm-hmm. couldn't get out of bed mm-hmm. like literally could not and I'm, and I'm like what I gotta tell my work. I can't get up to the, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. My experience is that my father, especially my, I grew up. My father had severe mental health issues. Mm. Like he was like he's he was that guy that was like screaming on the train. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's my dad. Yeah. Mm. And like my dad's super smart, like yeah. super smart, like uh, but you know. <laughs> Unwell and a black man in America. So he don't fucking trust no doctors. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he wasn't medicated. And he would just I go see. completely nuts. Like he he would be okay for maybe a few months. And even his okay is, you know what I mean? And then he'd be like, oh, the government is chasing me. And, you know, he'd yeah. come to my school in his pajamas. And I'd be taken out by security. And, you know, that, like, that was my, that was how I grew up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then he'd go away, he'd be in jail. He went to, you know, he, he you know, he, he'd like, whatever. Like, you know, like, me and my brother, we, you know, we, 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 every Father's Day, we just, I just drunkenly text him and I'm just like, we went through it, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> we should get something on Father's Day. Yeah. And so, but I mean, like, I love my dad. And, and so, like, I grew up being like, like I was terrified I would read everything I like because when, like, when I finally hit 25 and I didn't have schizophrenia I was like whoa we did because <laughs> it's so rare to present after 25 you know what I mean so I was so you know what I mean like like and 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 my and my depression presented very early and I knew I think it made it worse being like this 
So it begins. <laughs> oh, no. Here is the descent into madness. Oh, no. Of course, I was a drum queen. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, like I was terrified. Yeah. Like, terrified yeah. my whole life that I, and like, so like, I'm like, hey, look at what we got. Yeah. <laughs> just, just these. <laughs> we do it. I'm crazy in my own house. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Like, you know. does, does doing comedy uh, help with mental illness? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Do, do, doing comedy has been great in the sense that I feel like I have finally, I'm stepping into my purpose. That is the one thing about doing okay. comedy that I okay. feel like, uh, you know, people might be like, wow, okay, whatever, but, you know, but I feel like this is my this is what I'm I'm good at this shit. Let me yeah. not do that thing where I start crying. <laughs> this is like this is your like reason for I mean it's gonna sound I'm I'm about to be dead serious about reason for living. But you know how like somebody has like that thing they connect with yeah. and like that is the thing that they get up in the morning, bring them joy. Like it's like pieces. some people's reason for living is their family. Some people's yeah, reason yeah. for true. living yeah, is true. their Absolutely. you know it's different. their 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 friends, their their you know, their farm. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? They're the thing like we were not I believe we were not built for labor. So yeah. I believe I don't believe that yeah. we were built built to labor, 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 labor. So in the sense that like yes, comedy makes me like extremely like have a purpose and yes. have a reason that I want to live yeah. and be the driving force behind which I yeah. have not had before mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i def and it definitely wasn't my jobs <laughs> it will never you know what i mean like this 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 is i mean it'd be you know this is not my own this is not my only job or my primary job mm -hmm. or the thing that that you know and being able to have that would be amazing and like amazing amazing because most people don't yeah. you know most people's jobs yeah they can't, that, those can't be the reasons that you live. Mm -hmm. You can't wake up every day and be like, oh, this is my purpose in life. Yeah. It is to, you know, make a bunch of money for <laughs> a fucking billionaire who was stealing from me. They sell, you know those, I mean? they sell, those people sell some, you know, have like a dreamer inside them. Those people of course. do. And then the people, there are people that go after the dream and whatever that dream and take different forms for everybody. But it's scary as fuck. Yeah. You but know, I of course, because you have everybody, everybody has a different, you know, like levels of risk with whatever the thing is. Yeah. Um, if you're poor, that's why so many like comedians yeah, and actors yeah, and all these, yeah. like everybody's like, oh, how come everybody's a nepotism hire? Because that's the only people who can, that's all, so, so often the only people who can afford to go boldly in the direction yeah. of their dreams. Financial things are huge. Aspect. The biggest. It's the, the biggest thing, one. Yeah. yeah. It's just money is the what makes the world go around. Yeah. yeah. It shouldn't be. It's yeah. made up. Yeah. It's made up. Yeah. It's made up. Yeah. Why didn't we storm the Capitol for that? <laughs> there was a world before money existed. Yeah. And there was transactional reason, goods, The reason why there won't yeah. be a world in a little bit yeah. is money. Well, yeah. Money is the crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's all yeah. 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 Like six years. We got six yeah. years to the tipping point. Six years. Six, six years? Have yeah. You not, you not get the, the emails from Greta? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 worried about the environment and the hole in the ozone layer, which we fixed. We fixed the hole in the ozone layer and then fucked everything. Because <laughs> we, we could yeah. do, like, it's, it's like bad. we could do something. We could fix this and we would be all be better off for it, including the people who are trying really hard yeah. to make sure that we don't fix it. Has anybody read? Um, a generation of, psych of, of, of psychopaths, a generation. No. no, I haven't, but I've written this down. Yeah, totally. One of the theories is that this generation is so sociopathic that it wants the destruction of the earth so that they can be the last generation to truly. What the fuck? Whoa. Like they want to destroy the earth because they just cut it. The book cover looks dope. 
it's people you gotta watch it puts I mean, a lot into it. perspective read it. Yeah. and it even puts the narcissism the light nar- the light sometimes cute narcissism of your parents into perspective if your parents mm-hmm. are like boomers or or were oh, in yeah. that generation yeah, yeah. you know uh-huh. what i mean mm-hmm. yeah. like you'll understand a bit of how they grew up that led to their narcissism everybody in that generation has a bit of it because the culture fed it so yeah 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 Aaron Abelot Clemens. Ooh, oh my god, I so totally long. forgot there about that shit. Yo, you, I totally but forgot. But you remember. <laughs> yes, Usually yes. we have to remind you. Ryan Bahe, Dylan good. Nadler. Oh, that was good. Ryan Bahe, Dylan Nadler. Um, um, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Glow Butler. Um, uh, 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 Rich Kiamko. Um, uh, the fabulous people you've met. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us, you Mila know, Miles, Mila Miles. Cause you're listing them, the you know, yeah. People like that I met, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, like, did you expect to get this kind of warmth when you started in the beginning? Like this, you no, know, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I, I, I think I, I had no idea the, the, the like love and support and the beautiful people that I would meet and that would, you know, help me out during this time. Uh, Zubi Ahmed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Which is amazing, right? Yeah. And it happens and you're like, <sighs> when you yeah. like meet those people. Yeah. Yeah. I it, mean, it's, it's Tina Seaman, you know? Um, yeah, no, it's, 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 that's, that is good for your mental health. Having that community is good for your mental health. Mm-hmm. Like, I wouldn't say comedy is good for your mental health, but I would say parts of comedy can be good for your mental health. Well, we were saying in terms of doing what you love. Doing what you love is, is good for your mental health, the best right? Thing for your mental health, mm-hmm. because it's the one thing that makes you care. I have to remember. Because I, I can be like, oh, just go, go, go. Yes, yes, yes. I say yes, 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 yes. It's the problem that I'm working on. Uh, What's saying yes? Or yeah, so- to everything. Uh, every op- If yeah. you ask me, I'll do it. I'm going to do so it. So you don't. I don't like to say no, no at all. But yeah, so I'm saying you're like the movie Yes Man with uh, Jim Carrey. Like that's like. <laughs> Girl, I'm high. I, I, Are you Jim Carrey? Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I appreciate y'all. But that, okay, let me dig. I think I sort of remember Yes Man, but yes, if he was tired <laughs> and he had fibroids, <laughs> it would be yes. Oh very my god, bad. that yeah. community. Oh my god, let's yes make a remake yeah. with a black woman. Yeah. That would the be black so woman. much. Yeah. That would be yeah. so much better. Oh Issa god. Rae, where are you at? Yeah. Oh, where is a? Oh, she's is she not where doing is enough? She? She's doing so many. She's things. she is. She really is. Yeah. I know, but you yeah. know, I'm we, sure her schedule's hectic. But we need more. And if she can't clone her. <laughs> this is the thing. Issa Rae is the great. Uh, Issa Rae, Michaela Cole. Is, I love Michaela Cole. I love Michaela yo, Cole. Yo, so yo. Oh my God, I love that woman so much. Um, she just, she, like, she's, she's cool just brilliant. She's she so just, brilliant. She just, she really. Have you read the poem? I got, yeah, her, 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 um. Chewing of Dreams? Book? I re- you mean there, but she just came out with like a man of I was gonna say uh fuck what is it called Misfits I think it's called Misfits Misfits she wrote a oh you have to read it you I have, have to been read it. busy and trying she's I mean because it's one thing when you you're like oh I see somebody you know write their own TV series I mm-hmm. see somebody performing in a movie I see how they act and then when you oh my god this feel, came out in September when you feel oh, how Right? Yeah. Is it called Misfits? Yes, it is. When you feel how they write, and then you're just like, oh. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to order it's this. Po- it's poetry, and I did, yeah. like, I was just, she's just multi-talented, and yes. she's also. She used to do the she, music on Chewing Gum. She did, she did all the music on, yeah. on Chewing Gum. Huh. For, for yeah. the, for, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? And she, she just has, like, um, just, like, a canon full of, like, She's a genius. She is a, she is a modern genius. She is a, she is one of those, like, great, great craftsman geniuses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, like, and, and, and she's a black and woman. And she went through genius. shit. Oh, yeah, she, she went, went through, through some shit. serious shit. She some shit, shit that would break people. Yeah. That, that, like, yeah, there's some shit that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? She's, she's so fantastic that it's, like, sort of, like, you just kind of like some people were put there to be 
the like light for others. And yeah, I feel like she's she the lighthouse. Very much like yes, <laughs> she is, yes, yeah. she's the light for others, like for artists and 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 people who who express themselves through any yeah. kind of art. Like she's yeah. she's such a genius. But I feel like um, we shouldn't have to be Michaela Cole to get like you know a little, a little get our stories told. That's too much. Mm. That's too. We shouldn't have to be like yeah. Issa Rae. Michaela Cole is so much. And also. One thing missing is the class solidarity among American mm. black TV like things, I would say. Like what I would say so that? much stuff is like every piece of black media is that is like comedic and is like, you know, for us, for us, is sort of has a sort of element of classism to it. Mm. Or or at the very least just focuses on upper middle class black people because mm-hmm. of course that has always been like the, from the mm-hmm. Cosby show that has always been except for like you know good times I think that's, uh, and, and like everybody hates Chris like yeah. like yeah what, mm-hmm. what do we have that like represents like you know yeah. working class black people yeah. of which the majority of black people are working class yeah. I know it's hard to for people to hear yeah. because we hate the working class. Yeah. But the working class. Yeah, <laughs> and it, 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 it just sucks too because like the unfortunate thing is like once like the people who are making things like they're not working class people yes. because they're yeah. at the point in their careers where they can make a television boom, show, right? Boom. So, so it's like, even if you started off working class, like by that point, like there's like so few people. No, but Chris Rock did it. Chris right, Rock did right, it. Right, right, right. Chris Rock ain't been to the hood in a goddamn right. minute. Yeah. But he remembers and right. he grew up there and and he's telling his story through that venue. And it and it resonates with people. I just talked to a dude from Albania who was like, everybody hates Chris. Really resonated with me. Yeah. Because most people in the world are working class. Mm. Most yeah. people and, and and growing and growing and growing and growing. And there's something like, you know, like they just it, it's just those avenues are closing and closing and closing, just like in every other every other industry those avenues get smaller and smaller and smaller for people who uh, don't have uh, money to spend you know what I mean it costs money to to submit to to festivals it It costs money to take a class if you want to perfect your your shit and get it costs money to get a reader it it costs it all costs money it all costs money (laughs) I think all education should be free I believe all education should be free well like college yeah uh, like what are we talking because I'm saying I think private school is ridiculous and silly and sometimes stupid listen I went I, to private school and I I agree oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean I feel really like I I, it's just like public public school is already free like you're paying your taxes also for one thing yeah but it's trash for, like, <laughs> and it's but I'm saying like for like education I guess I should say expand like the resources where you just have like like having people do get more one on one stuff, like I, it's it just makes. I think it's important to make sure people are on an even, you know, playing field. So if you have people in your, you know, in classes who have different economic statuses, you they can stories. all get the same, you know, yes. shit everywhere. But like you can get you and like yeah, stories like you can finally like, yeah, people, people we were rehashing can, the same fucking stories over and over again. Yeah, and we're ignoring the vast majority of people yeah. who might resonate with a story that has something to, to do yeah. with their give lives. Give a platform to people like that. Yeah, yeah. Who actually have they not going to know it. <laughs> you gotta sneak in there. Yeah. Somebody gotta. Yeah. yeah, especially like with movies, it's like it's like right, like a majority of the people who pay to go see movies are working class people. So like, so it's like a bunch of rich people all like, trying to wonder yeah. what are these poor people like to see on the movie screen? Dead fucking ass and being like, and look every single. And that's another thing. Why? I'm, okay, so I am like my father in some ways. Yeah. <laughs> in that way, we are both. My father was a five percenter. He was he was fed by the Panther lunches. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? He was, so he's sort of like, you know, he has that black man. He told me about Pro when I, like, that was the stories that he would tell me before I went to bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. you know I mean? Like, I learned about that shit early. He taught me a, a lot about how the Americans government and the system of mm-hmm. white supremacy mm-hmm. is dangerous and bad. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, when I started getting into the Backstreet Boys, he made me watch Roots. You know what I mean? <laughs> hours and hours of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was, that's the kind of man he was. And so, and he was, he's crazy. He's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was always right. Right people are often crazy. <laughs> 
right? You know, it, it makes, it does make people, <laughs> like, people are snap, because I, yeah. I, I'm not saying, like, like, uh, because I don't want to Racism say, Racism like, makes you crazy. I'm just going to say it right here. No, but I didn't want to say, <laughs> I didn't want to say the word crazy, because I feel like that gets a no, negative right, connotation. you're absolutely right. I'm bad I'm saying, that. no, I'm just saying, like, it does, like, when you know things that, you know the actual, a lot more truths that people don't know, and you're just like, how the fuck, why is this going on? It does. It's it a makes fucking you, bummer. It makes you get angry. Yes. It makes you go. It activates your mental health yeah. issues. It yeah. activates mine. You know what I mean? For sure, for Which sure. is logical and yeah. makes sense because, like, yeah, because there's a lot of shit is- that's not right. Yes. It's just... And it goes on. Yes. And it's yeah. here. And it, and it affects you. Yeah. And the thing with it, like, if, if every instance of racism makes me crazy for crazy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. But also, like, with law, the law yeah. is made in a certain way, like, where things literally are, I don't want to say, like... And my dad's life was hard. By design. Life, when life is hard, yeah. It's, yeah. it's hard to be, like, I'm just like I'm saying, like, I, my, I could have, my mental health issues were so bad that I could not leave my house for months Mm -hmm. i could not leave i left i stayed on my mother's couch for months you know what i mean Mm -hmm. i was so i could not leave that apartment Mm -hmm. and then i was on a beach you know barefoot and you know bucket ass naked swimming in the ocean like feeling the full range of my emotions in a healthy way meditating when i was on the beach i would wake up and be like oh there's a meditation on because there was there was a time for the meditation mm-hmm. and it was a class and mm-hmm. you go there yeah. and then when you couldn't make it you would do it because you remember that's the thing that you that you do yeah. you know what i mean and yeah. then there was one at night and then there was space and there was calm like it's so hard to meditate in my room i would hearing like my neighbor's reggaeton in the background right, right. You know what like, you're still in like the world that you're trying to get away from a little bit right so you're, you're like, in this world yeah. does in music this- help Sometimes, I mean, I mean, sometimes I just be singing, you know what I mean? Like, or like, you know, like, no, what helps is a uh, guided meditation. I do this app called um, Liberate and it's, uh, yeah, and it's meditations uh, uh, by, it's like meditative talks and, and guided meditation, mm. uh, like f- from like black uh, practice practitioners or whatever so like they do they're they're so you know like cool. i tried headspace really cool. or whatever but i'm like yeah i know about headspace yeah i don't want i don't want trust any white man telling you to relax <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you need me to relax so, so bad relax to somebody i guess i don't trust you you know what yeah. i mean so like i but I I'm like not gonna lie, it definitely, I definitely am more suited, more comfortable when it is a woman's voice. Yes, me it's too. also if it is a man's voice, there is something that yeah, it feels like I'm being told what to do. It's like, <laughs> right? It's not because it's just like, it's like not dad, like, like yeah, no, or I'm like you know, this is how they got the the slaves. What am I? This is how they were like, relax. This is just yeah, it's with, yeah, exactly. And they were yeah. like, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. and then. It's called yeah, meditation, I mean, oh. I've been right. mean tuned by his face. Now that's on report. Oh, shit, sorry. You lost the sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, this was actually been brought to you by Headspace. They always come back. Not one of our sponsors. Yeah. Like, ooh, I mean, if they want to be now, they should be persuaded to you know. Yeah. Um, um, also, writing. Do you, how is, like, does writing, uh, Writing is horrible! That process, I mean, writing is terrible! I just have writing, to ask. My writing process is just, like, pacing back and forth, talking to myself. There's nothing meditative about, <laughs> about that. You know what I mean? But it does like, ah, ah, like, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing meditative about that. Sorry, but, I people, sorry. <laughs> yeah. sorry. Was, you're so animated, I love it. Like that that's what I need to meditate to do. I meditate so that I can write. Meditating mm-hmm. helps me write, mm-hmm. which helps me meditate. Yeah. And I'm like knowing yeah. that I have to write, it helps me meditate. My hysterectomy is on Friday. Uh-huh. And so then my friend is gonna come pick me up on Saturday and she has a house in Woodstock. Ooh. And it's magical. Oh, nice. And I mean she's gonna take me there. She's gonna throw me in the back of her trunk. Like, Literally. Like a trafficking victim and then take me. That's <laughs> <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> and take me to her home straight from the hospital. So I'm very blessed to have her in my life. Um, very, very blessed. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, but also trafficking is bad. Yes. Right. Oh my God! But yes, don't, no, don't no, you human traffic. And she's my friend. Right. You know, you exactly. only traffic your friends. <laughs> <laughs> After they 
surgery. Wait, wait, wait. Because they're surprised. Only they're traffic the surprise. injured who are <laughs> Right. Fresh out of surgery. Yes. Yes. That's no. good. I'm so glad you. No, because I'm gonna be drugged up. Like she's gonna have to. Like they're gonna wheel me out. And they're gonna have oh to. Like really it's trust really. It's yeah. Fishing, yeah. No, that's my homegirl from when I was like 14. She's known me. She's known me. There's like two people in my life who have known me since before I was depressed. Yeah. <laughs> so like those are like the two people in my life that like know me from like from the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those are my homies. Like, I met them at boarding school. We like. We, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's like boarding home. school. So how was boarding school? Racist. <laughs> <laughs> Where was it? Natick, Massachusetts. Mm, that sounds, all right. Yeah. It was that ra- sounds racist. <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a slogan for the boarding school. <laughs> you're, just, you're just making so many slogans for so many businesses today. <laughs> oh my god! That should have been. Yeah, I went to. I went to. I mean, I'll say it. Fuck them. I went to Walnut Hill. I went to Walnut Hill School. Yeah. Uh, and I met, uh, you know, these two amazing women. But like, I kind of got chased out by a racist bully. Wow. Uh, I went on scholarship, and I think the school hated the scholarship kids. All the scholarship mm. kids we were treated. So shit. Yeah. Uh, I went through a lot of shit. And you I went got to- here on merit and not by money? <laughs> oh. No, it, but it's also like, you're costing us money. It's yeah. costing us so much yeah. money to have you, your, you little poor black bitch from Ben Stuy on our campus. We don't need, we don't want to, like, I like, I like that, you know, I was called a nigger like every day Jeez. by this one kid. And I would complain about it to the school. And they were and they just like, anything? words of words. <laughs> Whoa. You can't. Really? You can't. You. 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 I. I don't want to hear this anymore. Well, like, I'm assuming really... the board and president, whoever like was running it, are all white. Everybody was white. <laughs> the board. I mean, the, there's everybody. No teachers. Every... Like obviously, yeah. Like yeah. there probably like how many. There was black one kids black teacher, there? Sadie, and she left very soon. Uh, <laughs> obviously, uh, did she took good care of me because I went through something really. That's what kind of like. I gave up my scholarship and I left that school because uh, this kid who was like bullying me, he was me and my homegirl, Chris, the girl that is taking me to, to Woodstock. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he used to write us like death threats and like, right. He used to draw pictures of me hanging Jeez. and what put the... them all over the school. Oh my God. And, like, he was like, he would like mutter to himself about like killing me and Chris and like drew maps of our, cause they had our addresses in, in, in our, in the, the, the school directory, or directory. Whatever. Yeah. That, and he would draw maps of uh, drew maps of our of our house that like is that area by our houses. We found the notebook. We, me and my girl we were fourteen years old. We find the notebook with and we're, it's terrifying. And this kid was you know weird yeah. like. And he was a day student, so like like we lived on campus, mm. and he would travel so he could go home and get a gun. You know what I mean? Scary shit. Yeah. This was post so Like what the fuck? You so we showed me and my home girl, like, we should tell the adults. They'll help they us. Saw it and they, we them, they were like, this is his private what property. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yes. yes. Wow. But my, like, That's ridiculous. Oh God. And like, my mom, I like, uh, we didn't have, oh, she, her mom. That is not cool. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. be scared as a parent. Yeah. I would, like, honestly, I would be, I, I wouldn't be comfortable with my kid even being there, to be honest. Yes, sucks, her mom took her sucks. out of that school. Her mom took her out of that school. My anxiety got really bad. That activated my, my, mm. my depression. Yeah. I think big time. Like, I was so. And I was like, what's happening to me? Do I, am I anemic? I thought I just never, uh, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, and I was like, no, it's not, it's the madness. The madness begins, you know, that's, and so it made me more depressed, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Because like, honestly, like, like most kids, like, don't have to, like, on a, on a daily basis be worried for their, their And I lived life. there. Yeah. I lived there. Yeah. There was, like, he, if he wanted to come find me, he could easily, it was a small school. You, you, like, I lived on campus. Yeah. The, you know, they didn't, the, the ministry they just, did not they give don't one see fuck. It they were like, they, if you're yeah, dead, if he don't. kills you, we don't have to cover the cost of your tuition. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just like, they're just, <laughs> yeah. 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 and it's like, and, 
it, like that's like bad and then it's, it's like that's like a place where young like where children yeah. are, are raised yeah. to be adults like yeah. you know I mean like okay like I'm sorry but like remember when Paris Hilton was talking about the experiences yeah. she had in boarding yeah. school boarding schools yeah. literally they don't have to protect these children yeah. they have they have, I don't understand how these institutions existed like I don't like I don't I mean it's it's, it's crazy because they're so old yeah and like, I, I, so, I, just I, networking. I tried so oh hard God. to get into that school it was so I for the it was expensive school and they only gave a certain amount of scholarships and I wanted one and I auditioned and I did essays. You tried really really hard and you finally got the scholarship. And I was like and yes! Was and I was going through a hard time yeah. and my mom worked really hard to get, my mom was the, the scholarship whisperer. She found every scholarship wow. for everything. My mom knew how to do that shit. Like she was amazing at, at, at like getting me into these like fucking like hoity toity rich white people programs. Mm-hmm. Like they, the, these people were like, we have never seen one of you <laughs> in our halls. And my mom busted through to get me in those things. You know what I mean? Wow, you guys are strong. Yeah. I you mean, my mom, mom was, if only she had just had, listen, if my mom wanted to make, you know, I like, you know, she, my mom should have been Venus and Serena's mom. <laughs> like, like, uh, she, your mom should have been Will Smith. Yep. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Queen Richard. She would. If it were the two of them, those kids. Uh, who knows? They'd be yeah. literal. They'd be yeah. both of them would be president. <laughs> they'd be president both of comedy? presidents of all of Earth. <laughs> you know, if my mom had those kids, you know what I mean. But she did not. She got me, <laughs> and she did her darn best to make me excellent. And I was. Average at best. So, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? You're doing so much, though. You're doing so much that is uh, like a ripple effect. Like, you are, like, as far as what you're doing with the comedy, as far as what you're doing, you know, for yourself, even coming on this podcast and talking about certain experiences, like, that's not easy for somebody mm-hmm. to. I mean, I mean, a lot of people aren't open about it a lot of people are in and i think more and more especially like you were saying paris hilton when she came out and was making a public statement of stuff conversations about boarding schools like institutions are now being questioned and looked into and they need you have to to need to keep you need to keep making noise though and you need Mm. and you're a part of that you're a person there's no status like oh just because this person has a huge platform or whatever everybody can say something or do something and whatever their degree is it's a ripple effect it'll happen mm. you just need enough people or enough people and like your experiences your perspective is significant mm. and you should it should be out there people should know and you'll get there you're gonna you're gonna you'll grow you're you i know, nominate you for president of comedy yeah, yeah. All yes. president. that's true <laughs> president of comedy yeah, yeah. there would be a riot <laughs> I know but what about men <laughs> <laughs> of course of course <laughs> so where you grew up going to boarding school reaching comedy uh, meeting this amazing community what do you want to do in the future the thing I want to do most important thing is survive capitalism with comedy. Yeah! <laughs> so I'll survive capitalism yeah, with comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Comedy is survive capitalism. Yes. Two, I want to make my... I, I mean, I want to make either... I want to make... I want to make my web series. I want to make my web series. Mm. I have a, 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 like a web series. I think it could be on something tv but it's you know it's it's not it's it's a, it's about my fibroids it's got a giant talking fibroid there's mm-hmm. no way that it's gonna be on fox you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> it's not be on fox though no so like, but that alliteration talking fibroid on fox like uh, that'd be so no, good no just put it in free form instead no, and it's like, <laughs> right no exactly no that's that's only for yeah. youtube and it's still gonna be very censored so you know what i mean like i oh, like I, or something i, I mean, like, I, whatever I want I want my I want I want to make that's my, great like you know I want to I want to I want to I want to write a, my own TV show if I could go like do the thing that I really 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 want to write my own TV show I want it to be good I want it to be black I want it to be queer I want it mm. to be real I want it to be hilarious and I want it to also be well received but those <laughs> 
<laughs> well, well, let's say you you make this piece of art yeah. and you put it out there. And I understand you want it to be yes. well received, but nah, fuck it. it's just, just being received. Yeah, you, you just know, make like thing. it is. People I are going to think... interpret it the way they interpret it. Right? Yes. You're right. doing it because mm. also so many people will connect. Like, come on. I think so too. That will be that. Like, I yeah, think so I could already picture that. I know. That. I know. We, we just gotta. We gotta just stay on it. I gotta take care of myself. Yeah. We very much wish wish you like the best. Of Thank luck you. With that. Yes, like no. the real. Something's yeah. gonna happen. I'm fucking. I I'm, I'm gonna make the shit happen. Yeah. This is Speak it into existence. This is the thing. Yeah. You know, this is the thing I gotta do. I gotta I gotta make this thing myself. Cause like yeah. I like okay, like listening to like because we were talking about Michaela Cole, we were talking about Easter mm-hmm. Ray. They both made the things themselves. Yeah. Nobody picked that shit up. They tried and tried and tried, and nobody's picking that shit up. And also, Issa, Issa Rae just made it with the people around her. She cobbled together an awkward black girl with a budget. Mm-hmm. And that wasn't her first web series. She even made multiple mm-hmm. web series before. Yeah. And she was just trying and she just she made her shit. Mm-hmm. And it resonated with a lot of people. And even and even after the success of Awkward Black Girl when she was pitching Insecure, the network executives were like, can't we make her white? <laughs> you know what I mean? That- you wow. know what I mean? They were like, we need a white friend in it. And then they were like, how about, and you know, no shade to Lauren London. Lauren London is great. But Lauren London, they wanted Lauren London to play Issa. Oh, really? Yes. And the whole thing is like, the about Insecure that really connects with people is that we never get to see dark-skinned women yeah. on TV. They're like, we never, in roles that are that are like, we're looking at their lives and we're like, yeah. and they're beautiful and they're, they're complex and they're yeah. people that yeah. like we can, we can connect with and, and who, you know, like yeah. we don't see that black, black, dark skinned women are excluded from black media all the time, yeah. all the time, yeah. almost, almost exclusively. And it has been since, since the days of black cinema, yeah. since the days of God bless her. And I love her. No shade, but no shade to Lena Horne. Like this is from, you know what I mean? You watch uh, cabin in the sky and you're like, oh, I'm seeing the same this is the same thing yeah. I'm seeing in mm-hmm. media today. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's like, you know, that's so <laughs> revolutionary and in ways that we are not allowed to talk about as black people really. And, but, and it just is. And, and she had to fight tooth and nail for it even after the success, like, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta make your shit. Yeah. You gotta make your shit, and you gotta hold on to your shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's kind of I just gotta make the thing. Um, Brendan, I just um gonna check in with you. If uh, how many do we, we have, have on your sorry, list? Huh? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my Welcome god! Welcome to Sessions with Mary yeah. Jane. Yeah. yeah, we want a number before. Also, is there anything uh you want to plug, Brendan? Uh, you guys just keep listening to this, uh, the uh, Late Night Hum LNH Studios Podcast Network. We got stuff coming out every single week. Multiple things we got. Obviously, you know, Sessions with Mary Jane, because you're listening to it right now. Mm-hmm. Weekdays, mornings, we got the news for you with the morning shower. We got Down the Can of Bus. We got Gemstones and Whiskey. We got Young Black Suburban and Young Blonde Suburban. So keep All on our those. podcast network, guys. guys you're going to get so many treats. The library is just getting bigger and bigger. There's just more for you to watch and look at. And just like We got another film coming. Yeah, and go to the Instagram, because we're, we're posting videos there all the more time. More videos, yeah. Literally, we will just sit around, as we have kind of done here today, and like, you know... Getting high, not getting high, either way, like, great ideas yeah. come to you, and silly ideas come to you, and we put them all on Instagram. And the holidays are coming. Yeah. So, yeah, we feel like we, so we, many we, great We love the holidays so much, it is so far out from the holidays, but we couldn't wait. We brought all of our holiday decorations down today. I did, yes. I did, yes. I, so, we have our our new tree we have to put up, and I put our menorah. Yes. So, we're just, <laughs> we got... I see it. It's covered, right. yeah. Yes. Now, would you like to know how many, um, and how many you have on the list? And also, just so you know, you have been... Way more in touch with the challenge than most people. Most people yeah, start it yeah. and then don't touch it till the end. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh god, I'm dying. Yeah. And I'm revisited. sorry to everybody that you I love revisited. that I forgot or that I said twice. I didn't want to say anybody's. I'm sorry. I'm so Jay Jordan. <laughs> yeah, get another one in there. I don't even know him. That was the way. That was a waste of it. <laughs> 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 We're at 14 right now. Okay, that's a list. It's good. Hey, that's a I'm high. 
Okay, and uh, feel I'm so I'm just I'm just gonna lie for you. I'm sorry if I forgot you. Okay, hey, listen, no apologies here. <laughs> you say fourteen and you own it. Sorry, I'm owning fourteen. That's yeah, yeah. it. That's right. One, four. They're both numbers. That's right. That's Thank right. you so much for being oh on the show. Oh my god. Thank y'all for this was beautiful. Yes. Do you have anything you want to plug? Any like social yeah, media things stuff? Coming up. The things you want to say? Please um, let me find you. When would this come out? Uh, probably the next day or so too. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my god. Turn around is fast. Yeah. Shout out to Jordan Freed who produces these podcasts and boop, boop. fucking yeah, takes care of us, man. Shout out to Jordan. Yeah. Um, uh, well, listen, my hysterectomy is on Friday, and if you would like <laughs> to donate to Venmo me, there's a little something so that I can heal and not, you know, bust my stitches to handing some white man a, a bowl of soup or some shit. Because I'm broke. I'm kidding. I'm all right. But if you can help, yeah. if you want to help, my Venmo is Sharia dash Mattis dash one S H E R I A dash M A T T I S dash one. Uh, and, yes. and and also uh, just check out my Instagram, which I'm going to be updating soon. My Instagram, Sharia Mattis Comedy. Go to shariamattiscomedy.com, my sad website. Please go to that. <laughs> uh, go to my, my YouTube, uh, uh, Black Girl Feelings. Uh, just got passed at Stand Up New York. Got you. Which mm-hmm. is amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, just keep me in your thoughts <laughs> on Friday. You know, do some bruja shit. You know, kill a chicken. Uh, put the, put mm. the bones in an arrangement that will give me... Good energy on uh, on Friday. I don't know. I don't know. All right, awesome. Well, thank you. The thank queen you so of comedy, much. the president of comedy. No, thank you. No, thank you. I, <laughs> I rescind that. I just, I just, I just gotta get. I like to watch cartoons. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Also, oh my god, y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for having me on this. Y'all are so great. Thank you for the tea and, oh, the, yeah. and the weed. Y'all are lovely. Of course, oh, no. you're welcome. This was so lovely. Thank you. And thank you guys for listening. Have a great time.